let's talk about linear functions and models. And before we actually get into that, we need to talk about um, something called scatter diagrams or scatter plots. Now, this particular lesson is very, very important. Uh, I don't care what kind of a job you go into. It, you know, there will be times that it's possible you'll be asked to collect data and, uh, you know, to maybe plot it out and, and make some, um, some predictions on what will happen in the future. Now, the things that we hear all the time that would apply to this would be things like, Let's say that you're sitting, um, you know, watching TV in the evening, and you hear on the news that um, General Motors is predicted to have um, a such and such, whatever dollar amount, um, gain in the next fiscal quarter. Well, the way that they make those predictions about what will happen, trends in sales, um, things like that, is by collecting data and they plot it and let me show you what that looks like down here. Um, here we have actually some different plots but um, you know they would collect this data and, and plot it out and then see if it's moving in a particular direction. This is called a scatter plot. Now you see these all the time. I said you know height and weight charts. If you go to the doctor, you know the baby growth charts. Um, a lot of times whenever you're in the gym you see the um, age and the maximum heart rate, those charts, things like that. This all comes from gathering information, plotting it on an X and a Y plane, and then seeing what's going on with it. Now, sometimes when we gather all of that data, it turns out to be linear, and other times it turns out to be nonlinear. Well, remember what the word linear means. Linear is a line. So if we look at, we have some different examples here of some scatter diagrams. This first one is linear. And you see that if I were to draw um, using my highlighter here, and I were to run a swath through the, those points, I could um, have the vast majority of them in that one swath of my highlighter. They generally are falling right along that same line or that linear space. So this is a linear diagram and notice that linear is anything in the form of mx plus b. That's our um, equation of a line there, that standard slope intercept form. And they say here where m is greater than zero. Well, if you'll remember, in our equation here, m is the slope. So if the slope is greater than zero, that means it's positive. That's what's going to tell us that things are going up, that our sales are projected to go up, or you know we're projecting to make more money next year, something like that. For this next graph, again, you can see that if I take my highlighter and draw a line down through there, I can collect the vast majority of those points. So this again is linear, but this time the m value would be less than zero or it would be negative. And something like this is what's going to tell us that things are going down. Something's going down in value or we're projected to lose money or something like that. Now here we have three other examples. And again, if I were to take a highlighter and try to draw something that would collect the vast majority of those points, you see I have this like upside down U shape. That is nonlinear. Linear means line. And again over here, if I were to try and draw something in that would collect the vast majority of those, I do not have a straight line, nor over here. So these can be either lines or not lines. Now we use that to create what we call regression equations or trend lines. And we're going to be learning how to do that in the next set of videos.